and I say, what's going on, my sexy pieces? Oh, it's your man, man, Dane Drops back in with another super, off. okay, you know what time it is, man. Hey, you guys are like, hey, Dame, can you beat us in the head with some more mom and pop action? I mean, we love all the chains you show love to, but we also love the mom and pops. Well, I'm here right now, bung bung, don't know if you guys can see it, pow, tipsy tomato, I believe it's 656 uh, New Haven Avenue, Derby, Connecticut. They have something that they call the cheeseburger pie. I'm pretty sure they want to call it the Big Mick because they can't call it the Big Mac, but they can't call it the Big Mick. You know what I'm saying? Like McDowell's coming to America. Holla at your boy. But uh, we're going to slide up over here, try the cheeseburger pie, and then my homegirl works up over here. She started making these chookies, right? Like, what, a cheesecake cookies or something or nothing? We're going to try that too. You know, get into all that action. Sit back, relax, and comfortable. She made me a dame drop. I holla. It's Tips and Tomato. Dame Drops. They said the cheeseburger pizza is about to change my life. So I came all the way out here, Derby, Connecticut, to show us some love. Now, it's either going to be a hit or miss, but Foodie Fam, off the look of it alone, Hit me in the comment section below right now. Let me know what you're thinking of the cheeseburger pizza. That crunchy water. That pickle game proper popping on a handstand. Oh, you see the sesame seed in the building? One time for the one time. Then, of course, ooh. Oh, it's beginning beefy on them. The edge of that pre-pizza crust. The edge of that crust right there. Looking extra crunchy, son. Oh! Oh yeah, this is looking crazy. I'm with it, but hold up. Y'all never heard of chickies before, huh? Cheesecake cookies. Once again, Chef Dana on Team Dame created these drones right here. Dana, you want to talk about them? What can the people expect, Jim? What can they expect? Well, coming from me, they can expect a lot. I came up with these things by an accident one day. It's, you know, I'm the cheesecake queen, but uh, they're literally, I call them Chookie, C-H-O-O-K-I-E, because they're half cheesecake and half cookie. And I use those double stuff Oreo cookies. So you get the creaminess of a cheesecake and you get the cookie, that crunchy cookie bite in one bite. And, James is about to try and this And you work here at Tipsy Tomato. And I work here at Tipsy Tomato. All right, all right. so then you know how this works, yo. You know I'm a savage. The, the, the problem with me is, if I, I don't care if I know you or not, yo. If your food is bad, it's bad. But if it's good, I'm gonna show you some love. So I'm gonna start with her chicken. She been dying for me to try these. I said the first time I'm gonna try them is gonna be with the foodie fam, and that's what it's gonna be. So let me go in. All right. Got a little strawberry sauce down there. Little, 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 little powdered sugar, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Boop. Chucky game. Mm-hmm. Forty fam, let's talk about it. Now listen here. You know that crunch and munch for lunch is a little bit of everything. But when it comes to a cheesecake, you gotta get that dense flair, that soft, tender loving on the late night. You know what I'm saying, team? That old graham cracker crust busting through, but that oil, that vanilla oil right there, right there in the center with that cream. And then the cream cheese. Double attack in the taste buds. My taste buds didn't know what to do with all that sweet and savory flavor. I gotta admit, it's actually good. It's not bad at all. Hold on, hold on, let me, let me go. Let me get a little something else, hold on. Hold on, let me get that little corner right there.
and bring y'all back. This little by the delight little boo thing right here is gonna take you places. Like, I mean, really, just think of your vanilla Oreo and then just go ahead and press your vanilla Oreo inside of your New York cheesecake. And just push it in there. Just boop, pop it up. In. Now go ahead and take a bite. I'll wait. Take a bite. What that taste like to you? Greatness, right? Exactly. That's what you're getting. Except Chef Dana Cooks is whipping them up. Good job, Dana. Good job. Like, you on the team. I ain't going to rate them, but I'm going to say they're damn good. Like, hold up. Time out. We already beat down dessert. Now it's time to get to the cheeseburger pizza here at Tipsy Tomato. And uh, I'm, I'm going to definitely rate this thing right here. Like, Dana didn't make this. I can't rate her chookies. Bung, bung. They are fire. I promise you that. Hit her up. She be delivering and everything. You better get yours today. Don't ever play yourself or you just come down here to Tipsy Tomato. But uh, this pizza, this cheeseburger pizza, I'm curious. Oh, uh, here it is. Whoo, cheeseburger pizza. Never had. Never had a cheeseburger pizza. I wonder. Foodie fam, whoa. Seasoned beef game, lettuce, crisp. But that beef had me taken for a loop because the Big Mac beef, that tastes one way. This ground beef is how the Big Mac beef probably should be, how it used to be, seasoned up proper. Cheese game, crazy bananas. But that sauce, that sauce is what takes you there. Now, a lot of individuals, when they think of the Big Mac, they think to themselves, hey, man, Thousand Island on that sauce. They might have added some extra, but Thousand Island on the sauce. This particular variation of a Thousand Island has a little kick to it. A light spice, light, light. I don't know. Was it the over pepper here? I have no idea, but it's not half bad, you know? And I didn't even attack the crust yet. This crust got so much bite to it. That crust is deep rooted. You already know. Just looking at the base of the pizza, that's brick oven love. But this is the most important part right here. Aside from the toppings, it's getting right to the crust. This pie is elevated. This cheeseburger pizza is a heavy four and a half, son. Heavy four and a half. Dame, does it actually taste like a Big Mac? No, it doesn't. Cheeseburger pizza was the best name they can give it right here. I see they were going for the Big Mac style, indeed, with the sesame seed, the pickles, the lettuce, and with the ground beef. They were definitely going for that flair, but nah, you won't get Big Mac when you bite it. However, you will get a divine cheeseburger pizza bite that's gonna throw you for a loop right on top of your pizza. It's gonna have you respecting it different, appreciating a pizza different, saying to yourself, I never knew, and then slide into your local pizzeria on some, how come y'all can't do the same? We need this on your menu as well. Now this is a specialty pie right here. So when you come to Tipsy Tomato, understand you won't see it on the menu. Specialty, baby. Foodie fam, while I was doing a review right towards the bitter end, Dana comes back out. She's like, hold on. She said that sauce is spicy. It's not supposed to be spicy. I was like, look, your sauce is spicy, B. That's why I don't taste like no Big Mac to me. Go in the back, come to find out that sauce was meant for the, what y'all, y'all Popeye chicken version we pizza? A spicy chicken sandwich pizza. Y'all got a spicy chicken sandwich pizza. So basically the Popeye's chicken sandwich pizza, but not really, because it can't call it Popeye's chicken sandwich pizza, but 
that's the sauce for it. That's what I had on my Big Mac pizza. Somebody dropped the ball in the back. However, they fixed it and came out with the correct one. So let's take a look. There we go. Look, would you look at that? In comparison to, but now, nah, I mean, it was still good. Let, let's not stunt. It was still good, even with the spicy sauce that belongs on their chicken. Their spicy chicken pizza. That's the sauce for it. You can even see the spices up in that joint. That's why it was spicy. Now, that's looking more like Big Mac style. Though it's not a Big Mac, Big Mick. You know what I'm saying? Cheeseburger. Regular cheeseburger pizza here at Tipsy Tomato. What I got, what I was supposed to get. Oh well. Nah, I'll review this one too. Y'all got time. What else are you doing? Hold on. Let's go in for that bite of delight on the get right. There it is. Ooh. Oh, that's drippy, drippy, drippy. Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now it tastes like a Big Mac. I can even start. All the flavors are in full effect. That Thousand Island right there makes all the difference. Mmm. That's good, good. I say the sauce makes all the difference. It truly does. This is already good itself. But just when you have that ground beef, that crunchy water coming through, Chris, sesame seed, action, no bun, no bun. Mmm, them pickles, heavily popping, extra crisp crust, and more cheese. I'm just saying. You can't just call it a cheeseburger pizza. You gotta give it a more official name. I mean, you definitely can't call it the Big Mac pizza, though it tastes just like a Big Mac on a pizza. You gotta call it the Big Mick Supreme. Yeah, the Big Mick, yo. Just go ahead and steal that from coming to America. You know you want to. Oh, it's amazing. Slide on down to Tipsy Tomato. Make sure they hit you with the proper sauce. Make sure you don't get the Popeye's spicy chicken sauce, <clears throat> also known as here, the spicy chicken sauce. Make sure you get that Thousand Island love right there. Cause if you get this, uh, 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 uh. But if you get that, yeah, baby. She made me a Dan Drops. I'll see y'all next time.